Good morning, student. I am N V Krishna, Assistant Professor, C U C Department. I am handling the Kambalya design for the fifth semester. So, in the last class, we have seen the finite automata and conversions between the regular expressions to N F A with epsilon, and also we have seen the N F A to D F A. Now we will see the N F A with epsilon to N F A. Now we will discuss in this class the conversion of N F A with epsilon to NFA, right? So here, now we are considering an example, which is NFA with epsilon. Now we have to convert this to NFA without epsilon loss. So here, this is a epsilon transition. So now we are considering this as NFA with epsilon. We have to convert this NFA with epsilon to NFA, right? Here. The first step in this conversion, we have to find the epsilon closure of the states. The first step, we have to find the epsilon closure of states. And so here we are considering this transition table. From the transition diagram, we are considering the transition table. Q naught on a Q one, Q naught on b empty set. On epsilon is an empty set. Then Q1 on A empty set. On B empty set. Empty set. On epsilon going to Q2. Then Q2 on A empty set. Q2 on B is a Q2. Then Q2 on epsilon is five. Okay. So we have written. A transition table from the transition diagram. In this conversion process, NFA with epsilon to NFA, the first step we have to find the epsilon process. Then we have to consider NFA without epsilon is equivalent to string transition function of NFA with epsilon. Right here, this is. NFA to find NFA, we have to consider string transition function of NFA with epsilon, right? So this is the that conversion formula, right? To find NFA transition, we have to consider string transition function of NFA with epsilon. So here. From this transition diagram, we have written transition table. The first step is to find the epsilon closures. Right? We need to find epsilon closures of the states. Okay. Here, first epsilon closure of epsilon closure of Q naught. What is mean? All the states which can be reachable on epsilon from the Q naught state. Here, there is no epsilon transition from Q naught, so epsilon goes of Q naught is Q naught itself, because without a symbol, it may stay in the its own state. So epsilon goes of Q naught is Q naught. Then epsilon goes of Q one epsilon closure of Q one. So here epsilon closure of Q one. First one, the same state Q one. Then it can reach an epsilon from Q one to Q two. So we can add Q two. So epsilon closure of Q one is Q one comma Q two. Then epsilon closure of Q two is simply Q two. So epsilon closure of Q two is Q two. So this is the first required. What are the epsilon closure of states? So in the next slide, just 
what we have considered. So finding epsilon close is the first step. So epsilon close of Q0 is Q0. Epsilon, epsilon close of Q1 is Q1, Q2. And that is epsilon close of QD is Q2. Right? Now, this is the, our next step. We need to find here string transition function of Q naught R A to find NFA transition. To find NFA transition Q naught R A, we required to find string transition function of Q naught R A. Right? Already we discussed. Right? So, what is the one? NFA transition equal to string transition of NFA with epsilon. So, to find Q not on A, we require string transition function of Q not on A. To finding the string transition of Q not on A, it is a three step. It is a three step process. First step, epsilon close of Q naught. Second step, find the transition of the symbol A. Then third step, finding the epsilon close of the resultant states. It is a three step process. Right? So, what is a Q naught on epsilon? Epsilon close of Q naught, it is results to Q naught. Epsilon close of Q naught is Q naught. Right? That is a step one. So Q naught on A. Q naught on A is a step two. What is resulting Q naught on A? Is a Q one. Q naught on A giving Q one. So third step is a epsilon close of q1 which results to q1 q2 it is a three step process to find nfa transition q0 on a we require to find string transition function of q0 on a to find this one it is a three step first apply the epsilon will give some output states then Apply this resultant states on the input symbol A. So, by the end of the second step, we will get some output states. Then, what is this third step? Find the epsilon close of these states. Right? Find the epsilon close of these states. Right? So, epsilon close of Q is here. Epsilon close of. Transition function of string transition function of Q naught or epsilon comma A. Right? Here, this is the first step finding the epsilon close of Q naught. Applying on the symbol A is the second step. Finding the epsilon close of the resultant states is the third step. So finally, we are getting Q1, Q2. Then, similarly, to find NFA transition Q0 on B, we have to consider string transition function of string transition of function of NFA with epsilon of Q0 on B. Once again, three step process. First step, finding the epsilon close of Q0. Second step, transition on B. Third step, finding the epsilon close of B. Right? So, Q0 on epsilon. The Q0 on epsilon means epsilon close of Q0. What is epsilon close of Q0? Simply Q0. Epsilon close of Q0 is it's a Q0. Just we already find in the last slide. Now, this is the step 1. What is the second step? 
playing on B is a second step. A playing on B is a second step. Epsilon closure of Q0 on B is phi. <laughs> epsilon closure of phi is simply phi. Right? Epsilon closure of Q0 on B is a second step, which is resulting phi Q0 on B. Epsilon closure of B phi is simply phi. This is the third step. This is the final result. Now, we found the transitions Q0 on A and B. Similarly, we need to find on Q1 on A, Q1 on B, Q2 on A, Q2 on B. Now, so here, to find Q1 on A, NFA, we have to consider string transition function Q1 on A. String transition function Q1 on A. So, which implies, this is the first step. This is the second step. This is the third step. Third step, second step. First step, finding the epsilon closure of Q1, finding the epsilon closure of Q1 is a first step. So, what is the epsilon closure of Q1? It is Q1 and Q2. The epsilon closure of Q1 is Q1, comma, Q2. Applying on these two, applying on these two on A will result Q1 on A union with Q2 on A, which results to Q1 on A, Q2 on A, both are phi. So, this is the second step. Applying the Q1, Q2 on A is a second step. Then, epsilon close of phi is, finding them is a third step which is simply phi. Epsilon closure of phi is simply phi. Right? So, Q1 on A simply phi. Right? Now, to find NFA transition Q1 on B, we required string transition function of NFA with epsilon of Q1 on B. What is that one? Three step process. One step, find the epsilon closure of Q1. Then, applying on B, that is a symbol B, is second step. Finding the epsilon closure of the result is third step. Right? It's a three step process. Right? The first step is finding the Epsilon closure of Q1. That is a step 1. What is epsilon closure of Q1? Q1, comma, Q2. Applying the Q1, Q2 on B is the second step. Applying the Q1, comma, Q2 on symbol B is the second step. So Q1 on B, union with <coughs> Q2 on B is the second step, which results Q2. Q2 on B is Q2. Then, finding the epsilon closure of Q2 is third step. Finding the epsilon closure of Q2 is the third step. Right? Finding the epsilon closure of Q2 is third step. Which is this us to Q2. Which this us to Q2. Okay. Right. Now, what is the next one? Finding the transitions of Q2. Right. Q2 on A and Q2 on B. Q2 on A. Q2 
2 on epsilon is a first step right then transition on symbol a is second step finding epsilon close of the result is third step right so epsilon close of q2 is a first step what is epsilon close of q2 simply q2 right epsilon close of q2 then applying on symbol a is a step 2 applying on the symbol a is a step 2 q2 on a which leads to phi so simply finally phi okay then q2 on b right q2 on b first step q2 on epsilon second step applying the b symbol third step epsilon close of the resultant states now the epsilon close of q2 is the first step what is epsilon close of q2 simply q2 then applying on b is a second step q2 on b is giving q2 then finding the epsilon closer is third step so final this q2 is the result the result of the result of this three step process will gives to q2 on b is simply q2 right now we draw the transition diagram and transition table so here if we consider the outputs of the previous transitions we will get q transition q0 q1 q2 on ab will result to this one right so we are right drawing the transition diagram and transition table here we will see one more example on this nfe with epsilon already we discussed how to construct our simple nfa with epsilon for 0 star 1 star 2 star right so here q naught on 0 on epsilon goes to q1 on 1 on epsilon goes to q2 on 2 right this is the nfa with epsilon now Consider transition table 0, 1, 2, epsilon. Then initial state is Q0, on J it is Q0, on 1, phi, on 2 is phi, on epsilon it is Q1. Then Q1 on 0, phi, right? Q1 on 1 is Q1, on 2 is phi on epsilon q2 then q2 on 0 phi on 1 is phi 2 is q2 q2 on epsilon simply phi here this is the final state we represent with asterisk now from this nfa with epsilon we have to construct nfa Right now consider 0, 1, and 2 other input symbols. Right? This is a NFA with transition. Now what will be the states Q0, Q1, and Q2? First in this conversion, what is the first step? Find the epsilon closer of Q0. Right? Epsilon closer of Q0. Epsilon closer of 
Q naught. The Q naught will be in the same state. It can reach Q1 and also it can reach Q2. So finally what we are getting? Q naught, Q1 and Q2. We are getting three states. Q naught, Q1, Q2. Then if we consider the epsilon closer of Q1, we will get Q1 and Q2. So Q1 will the same state. On epsilon it goes to Q2. Right? Then epsilon closer of Q2. Simply only Q2. Right? So the first step finding the epsilon closer is over. Now we have to find the transitions Q0 on 0, Q0 on 1, Q0 on 2 and Q1 on 0, Q1 on 1. Q1 on 2, then Q2 on 0, Q2 on 1, Q2 on 2. Writing every step in detail. Right? Now, so Q0 on 0 is string transition function of Q0 on 0. What is the first step? Finding the epsilon closure of, right? Epsilon closure of Transition of, right? String transition of Q naught on epsilon. Then zero, right? Q naught on epsilon. What states we are getting? Simply Q naught, Q one, and Q two. So which giving epsilon closer of Transition of Q naught on zero, Q one on zero, Q two on zero. Right? Now Q naught on zero is Q naught. This is phi. This is phi. Which results to epsilon closure of Q naught simply. Epsilon closure of Q naught, which is Q naught, Q one, and Q two. Right. Similarly, Q naught on one, string transition function Q naught on one, epsilon closure of transition of string transition of Q naught on epsilon on one which resulting q naught q one q two so epsilon closure of transition of q naught on one union with q one on one union with q two on one here this is phi this is Q1, this is 5, which is just to simply Q1 and Q2. Right? Epsilon closure of Q1, simply Q1, Q2. Right? Then, string transition function of Q0 on 2. Right? Which is just to epsilon closure of String transition function of Q naught on epsilon followed by 2. Here, this is this is once again Q naught, Q1, Q2 means epsilon closer of transition of Q naught on 2, Q1 on 2, and Q2 on 2, which is else only Q2. This is a phi. This is five. Then finally, epsilon closure of Q two is simply Q two, right? So here we write this is Q naught, Q one, Q two. This is Q one, Q two. Then this is 
true to right then string transition function of q1 on 0 right q1 on 0 which is epsilon closure of transition of string transition of q1 on epsilon followed by 0 here q1 on epsilon which results q1 comma q2 which gives epsilon closure of string transi transition of q1 on 0 union with q2 on 0 this is phi this is a phi results to phi so similarly, Q1 on 1, Q1 on 1, so epsilon closure of transition of string transition of Q1 on epsilon followed by 1. What is a Q1 on epsilon? Q1, Q2. So epsilon closure of Transition of Q1 on 1, Q2 on 1. So here this is a Q1, this is phi, which is just to Q1, Q2. Right? So next Q2 on 1, Q1 on 2. Q1 on 2, which is epsilon closure of transition of string transition of Q1 on epsilon, right? String transition Q1 on epsilon followed by 2, which is just to epsilon closure of transition of Q1 on 2. Q2 on this is phi, this is Q2, which is us only Q2. Right? So here this is phi, this is Q1, Q2. Here it will be the Q2. Then Q2 on 0. String transition function of Q2 on 0, which is epsilon closure of transition of string transition of Q2 on epsilon followed by 0, which simply gives epsilon closure of transition of Q2 on 0, which is simply phi. Right? Here, this is simply given Q2. Q2 on 0 is simply phi. Epsilon closer of phi is simply phi. Then, Q2 on 1. String transition function of Q2 on 1, which is epsilon closer of transition of string transition of Q2 on epsilon followed by 1. Here, what is a Q2 on epsilon? Simply Q2. So, epsilon closure of Q2 on 1, which is 1 second phi results to phi. Then, final one Q2 on 2. String transition function of Q2 on Epsilon closure of transition of string transition of Q2 on epsilon followed by 2, which is as to Q2, then epsilon closure of transition of Q2 on 2. Here, which is as to Q2, so result is Q2. So, here this one is 5, 
This one is fine and this one is should. Right? Now, here, which are the final state? Final state is Q2 in NFA with epsilon. What is the epsilon glows of Q0? Epsilon glows of Q0 containing the Q0 and Q1, Q2. So, we have to consider all the three as final state. Since the epsilon close of Q0 contain a final state, so all that are considered as simply final states. Right? So, this is the transition table for the given problem, NFA transition table for the given problem. From this, you can construct transition diagram and final transition. So, in this class, we have discussed the conversion of NFA with epsilon to NFA. So, by this, I am closing this class. We will continue the next topics in the next class. Okay. Thank you. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.